Hola, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And um, I thought it would be fun to share a flip through of my work planner. This is something that I haven't been sharing on my channel for a while now, just because A, I've been super busy, B, I haven't really quite figured out how I want my work planner to be set up. And honestly, I still haven't really found out like the best way I want this to be set up. I'm still experimenting, still switching it up, still playing around with this, but I thought it would be fun to kind of show you my work planner as it stands now, my thought process behind how it's set up, what's not working for me, what is working for me, and just show you how I use my work planner. So if that sounds interesting, then you know the drill, just keep on watching. So ever since I broke up with my twin loop planner a few months ago, I have been loving being back in a disc bound system for work. And the setup that I went with was using a thin big planner because it kind of gives me the best of both worlds in that I have a lot of real estate to take notes and to work in. But at the same time, it's not a ginormous planner that weighs like 30 pounds. I do work on a campus and so I walk around quite a bit and I just try to minimize what's in my backpack. I already carry way too much in my backpack and I don't need like a huge textbook for a planner in there. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but also would like to minimize where I can. And I find that having about this much for my planner is working out for me. I don't feel like I need more. So I'm happy with this so far. The planner cover is actually from the Vintage Botanicals 18 month vertical planner. This is a big planner. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I was feeling this planner for November and starting December, but I think I'm going to be switching this up. And actually in my next video, I'm going to be setting up my work planner for the first few months of the new year and just getting that ready. So stay tuned for that. But this design is gorgeous. Okay, and then I hope this is in frame. Let me check. Yes, we're in frame. Um, the cover pages. So actually, my name page is from the Whimsy Wonders Back to School collection. This is the Disney collection with Mickey and Minnie. Very, very cute. This is a teacher planner, so it has all of like the teacher planner layout in the first couple of pages. I don't mind that because I do work in a university setting, so it's kind of fitting, although right now I'm not teaching, so I don't really need teaching specific things right now. And even if I was teaching, I don't really use um, like school schedule or reliable students, reliable teacher section because I am not in like a K to 12 setting. So I don't really need the notes for the substitute. I kind of just cancel classes at that point. But I do really, really like the layout of the Whimsy Wonders um, teacher planner. I love the little design up and down the spine. And it's been a little bit hard to change the pages with this planner and so I have to be really careful with these pages. I'm kind of thinking that I might upgrade to classic size discs just because I feel like I could use the extra room. I'm not sure. I have to think about it because I do really like using the mini discs. They're just so small. When I set up my planner um, in the next video, we'll see what happens. But this is where I like to jot down anything that's happening in my year at a glance. This is mostly work stuff, but I will also put down things that are just general life stuff, especially if I don't have my home life planner close at hand, then I can just drop it down into my year at a glance because I normally don't carry more than one or two months at a time in my work planner. So here we just have the back of the year at a glance this teacher planner was an August start, so we have the August overview here, but honestly don't really use that. I'm kind of leaving this blank for extra notes that I ever want to jot down. 
And honestly, my work planner is very much a workhorse, and so I don't really care for it to be perfect, exact. So you're gonna see a lot of rough around the edges kind of situation here, and that's perfectly fine because my work planner is my workhorse. And then I just have a Cozy Critters vision board here. It's super, super cute. I'm thinking of setting this up for the new year and then just having it in my work planner for 2023 as motivation. And then I have three sections in my work planner right now. I have my like general work section, which is my research section. I am a postdoc scholar and the majority of my work is research. I also have my teaching section in here. Again, I'm not teaching in the classroom right now, but I am trying to set up a teaching program in my local county jail or prison haven't decided the facility yet and so i'm doing a lot of work to set that up and so i put that kind of stuff in my teaching planner and then the last section i have is my hourly section which i think i'm gonna get rid of actually but yeah i have my hourly in here and then the last section i have is just regular filler paper so those are the four sections i have in here and I like separating these sections out with these dividers that are double-sided so that way we don't have like a monthly view here. It's just a nice, beautiful design. And then right now, I think I have both November and December in my work planner. And then for the month of November, I ended up using the monthly pages from that same vintage botanicals planner. This thing is gorgeous. This one is a vertical. Let me pull these bookmarks out while I'm here. This is my monthly view. Very, very simple. This is very functional. I don't spend a lot of time decorating. I just use this as a space to set up all of the scheduled events that are happening um, in the month that pertain to my research specifically. And then this was the first week in November. I was using a project management layout where each column um, was one specific project I was working on. This was really good for me for a few weeks. I felt like very motivated by it. Um, I used that same project management layout here, but this week was Thanksgiving week and I just didn't get a lot of work done this week, understandably so so it's very blank. And then I recently picked up these daily schedule half sheets. I love these because they're in the big um, size and I just love these to kind of be like a catch-all weekly overview. So that way I just have like a bird's eye perspective of everything that's going on, the, on in the week. So let me put that down there. So again, still using the project management layout. It did work out for me for a couple of weeks and then this is I think the third week in November I used um, the cyanotype sticker book still using the columns as projects and I didn't even mention like what sticker books I used for um, this spread this was the cheerful season sticker book and then this one was the Zay Wild sticker book and for the monthly these stickers are from the bright type um, large sticker book but I have to tell you a secret. So this page looks super, super full, but actually I didn't fill out like half of this until um, this week here. So we have another one of these daily sheet pages and my bookmark, let me move that. So I actually um, was working on this week and I had so much to do and I had um, leftover blank space on this spread and so I went back into this spread and I just started jotting down things that I was working on and so it looks nice and full but actually I it was kind of empty before this week and then this week I had so much um, going on and I just needed like a place to brain dump and plan things out and so I ended up using some space on um, on this spread right here and then this spread was an explosion of color I was using stickers from the all the essentials sticker book and then we just have the december overview which i haven't done anything with but i like to use these spaces as like brain dump spaces these pages are from the cosmic watercolor big it's a horizontal and and for the december monthly spread i actually um decorated it a little bit i used like christmas stickers just to be festive 
dropped some meetings that I had going on here but because you know it is the holidays I really don't have much going on these last three weeks of December so it's kind of empty and then this um, week this was the first week in December the end of November these stickers I think are from the brights sticker book yes from the bright sticker book I also used mild liners some random stickers from other sticker books and some nice washi tape I also used a daily sheet just one of the days I forget what day oh November 29th I used this just to kind of get myself oriented one day and then I attended our lab meeting on the second and I a couple of people were presenting their research and so I took a lot of notes here but yeah I like how this one turned out and then this is the current week I actually just ended up using this side of the week and these are also from the everything essentials sticker book so now I have all of this space left over so maybe in the upcoming week I will maybe use a lot of decorative stickers so that way I can just use the space as well. That's one of my pro tips is if you ever have blank space in a previous spread, um, don't feel like you can't ever fill up that space. Sometimes I'll go back two, three, even like four or five weeks back into a spread that has a lot of empty space if I end up like using up every single inch square inch of a spread like for this spread if i you know filled up the entire thing by let's say thursday just because i just needed to spill onto like the later days in the week i will go back to a spread like this and then i'll use this page as scratch paper essentially so this is the upcoming week the 12th through the 18th this is a horizontal i really really like the horizontal layout i think i'm gonna uh, try to flip between the vertical and the horizontal for research depending on what i have but yeah that's just my research section and then my teaching section i love this divider this is from the whimsy wonders and i thought it was really appropriate for my teaching section and i'm also uh, and then for this section for november i used the cosmic watercolors horizontal this is my teaching monthly I used Zay Wild stickers here, very, very cute. And again, this is just to map out meetings. I also use my teaching section as kind of a catch-all for everything that's not directly research related. Like I like to use this section for career development, professional development, any trainings or workshops that I like to attend to advance my career will go in here. I kind of justify putting all that stuff in here because this is my teaching planner and I always consider myself both a student and a teacher and I can always learn. I do try to decorate and make it cute but also I'm not afraid of just having it look pretty simple and having there and for there to be a lot of blank space in this planner. I think I get my like decorative fix with my home life planner i'm very very decorative in there and there's like no blank space in my home life planner so i'm kind of okay to just keep things minimal in this planner okay so this was the first week in november and i did have some things to do this week but a lot of blank space and that happens it happens especially when you're juggling multiple planners it'll be weeks where I don't use this planner as much as I want to. Sometimes I'll just use daily pages and I won't flip to my teaching planner. And then this, I haven't even moved my bookmark. That's how much I've been kind of neglecting my teaching section. I did have a lot of stuff the second week of November, so I do have quite a bit written down here. These stickers were from the Fall Harvest sticker book. Oh, and these are Zay Wild stickers. This week I tried, I tried to um, to use this this planner and I used the cyanotype sticker book. It's very, very cute, but I just didn't get in here. And again, it happens. I kind of want to like peel off these stickers or reuse these pages for another week. And that's something I like to do is if I ever have a spread like this where I set it up, but don't use it, I just grab these um pages i just grab these pages take them out and then transfer them to another month and i'll just you know use this spread and just white out the dates this spread 
I was using the Cheerful Season sticker book and it was fun, simple. I did have a couple of things going on, but you can kind of see a theme where like for some sometimes I'll have just like a couple of things written like in this section. And it's just that I don't have a lot going on this week for teaching and so there'll be a lot of blank space. Once I start teaching, I can definitely see this like filling up quite a bit. And actually I used my teaching section a lot more when I was um, participating in the prison education projects virtual semester. I was a volunteer teacher helping teach um, like a creative writing course for a California prison for women. And actually there wasn't a lot of stuff that I needed to do for that course. It was not a heavy workload at all, but I did have a couple of things I needed to check off every week. Ever since the semester ended, these pages have been a little bit more empty, but I'm hoping that in January and February, um, my teaching will kick off and I can get back into the classroom and then these pages will start filling up. That was the last week of November. We have the December overview here. I love the cosmic watercolor stylization on all the pages. And then for the month of December, this is the Whimsy Wonders teacher planner. Very cute mini there on the cover. And actually, I don't think I've even set this up at all. This is like completely blank. Again, even for my work stuff, like the last three weeks of December, there's like nothing going on. In the first two weeks of December, things are already starting to quiet down. So I actually don't have anything written here. Yeah, this is like a completely blank monthly. Yeah, this is completely blank. <laughs> it happens. And then this is the section I'm thinking of actually getting rid of. This is my hourly section. I love these dividers so much. And I'm actually using stargazer dividers, but I'm using um, the hourly format. So I have glued these pages together. The monthly is from the Stargazer, but these pages here are from the Hustle and Heart um, hourly planner. And I really liked how I was using this for like the first two weeks that I used this hourly. So this is actually from October. Yeah, this is from October. So I really, really liked setting up my daily schedule. I had a lot of fun decorating it. But after like the first couple of weeks, it just, I just didn't really like get back into it. Like I loved it for a couple of weeks and then I just <laughs> did not get into it anymore. And then I had a bunch of notes here from a meeting. So this is kind of how I use my overview pages. They're just like meeting note dumps. And then for November, I actually used a bright type divider and I glued it to the hustle and heart hourly pages and I actually glued like two pages together so that way I don't see the monthly calendar because I wasn't using that at all so I just glued the monthly calendar together and it's flipped straight to the goals page which I really like this and I want to use this but haven't figured out how I want to use it and honestly I haven't been using the hourly that much either like I tried using it I did try to use it, but I don't know. I just haven't been using it as much as I want to to justify like keeping it in my planner. So after this, like I did not use the hourly. And then for the month of December, um, so I did the same thing. Oh, I actually didn't even glue these together. So these are not glued together, but I tried using it. Uh, didn't really use it too much and then yeah, I just haven't used it too much. So I'm not sure about the hourly. I've noticed that I tend to like to use like daily sheets to set up my hourly schedule and I am leaning towards just using daily sheets for that. I'm also thinking of potentially like converting this into an undated hourly and just whenever I feel like I need an hourly schedule, like I'll just flip to my hourly schedule and then put like January 26th and then maybe like January 29th and then maybe February 1st, February 10, February you know 13, February 15, and then just go day by day by day. So that's a potential um, use of the hourly. 
And then this is actually the last page in the planner. So we just have some scratch paper on the back. And then this is my last like divider. This is again from the Whimsy Wonders. And I just have filler paper back here. I have some note paper, some half sheet note paper in the classic size, as well as my daily schedule half sheets. And I have some just plain dot lined dot line filler paper from Disney's Villain collection and I have some daily sheets um, this is from Spoonful of Faith I have some just hourly I mean some daily sheets from like the Butterfly Planner and then I have a folder back here with some scratch paper some box stickers and just some regular stickers back here just you know just to have a little fun back there and then I also have my whiteboard dashboard from Cozy Critters and that is all that I have in my my research planner so that is the entire flip through of my research planner I just wanted to share with you you know my rough around the edges research planner how I use this for work and how it's going for me so I hope you enjoyed that I'm gonna set up my work planner for the next couple of months now so hopefully that will be the next video that you see on my channel I hope you check it out let me know what planner you're using for work in the comments down below. I would love to know and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today, having a little bit of planner chatter and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed and happy planning. Bye!